penultimate race. Who will be eliminated? All points are now divided by two and converted to seconds for a time advantage. Welcome back to Gladiators and our final decider, the Eliminator. Two of our challengers have a slight lead. A bit, not a lot. Let's see how the girls are doing. They call you the pocket rocket. How are you feeling about the Eliminator? A lot more confident about the Eliminator. I love this obstacle style of game, so really looking forward to getting out there and giving it my best. And you and Jackie are quite evenly matched, so it should be a good race. Yeah, we're both little ones, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good show. Good luck, Jackie. I'm looking forward to getting out there with you. Good luck, Jackie. Jackie, they're calling you the Mighty Mouse in the crowd. Why is that? I'm just the little mighty mouse, I guess. Nice and fast. Let's hope so tonight, hey? Yeah, I think we've got a really good race on our hands, even though there's only a two-second difference. Bill, take it away. Red Challenger, you'll go on my whistle. Blue Challenger, you'll go on John's whistle. Challengers, are you ready? Three, two, one. Pocket oh, Rocket Emily, red blasts off. Set the over and unders. Mighty Mouse Jackie is right behind her. Up the runs by. Who's got the upper body strength? It appears to be with Emily. Jackie just struggling. Up she goes. Emily hasn't taken off quickly on the monkey bars, but Jackie has. She's powering through. She's overtaking her. She's actually ahead. She made up so much on the monkey bars. Up the quarter point they go. The wire ladder. Side on is Jackie. Emily front on. Will it work to Ivers' advantage? Now for the buckle. It's all in their own hands. The challenger must unbuckle themselves. No one else could be involved in that process. It's a good omen, I think. Number two is the footy number. Okay, you 100%? 100%, Tom, yeah. It's been a uh, reasonably tough night, but no injuries, feeling good. Tough? Mate, it's been a very tough night for both of you guys, but you're here now. It's time to empty the tank. Last quarter. All right, good stuff. Sean, do you for the West? Yeah, definitely, Tom. The, the, the whole of Perth is on their feet right now. They want you to bring home the goods. Yeah, I'd love to. It'd be uh, great if I could. How the legs feeling? Ready? Feel Pumped? wobbly. Feel wobbly? Feel wobbly. You'll be right. Thanks, Tom. Give it everything you've got. Challenger, red challenger, you'll go on my whistle. Blue challenger, you'll go on John's whistle. Challengers, are you ready? Three, two, one. The 26-year-old Victoria Joe takes off first on the over and unders. It doesn't appear to be an obstacle for either challenger. To the right by and Joe goes straight up there first to the monkey bars. Sean is 
going two at a time, trying to make up the lost ground. Joey's still ahead. They hit the mat, the quarter pipe. Two big leaps by Joe, and look at Sean launching himself. They clipped up for the wire ladder. It's neck and neck. Sean is making his move on Joe. Sean in blue, Joe in red. Level begging. Joe's away first, and over he goes. Straight to the zip line. Sean has got his eyes on him now. Come, Joe just cleanly inside of Sean. Joe's on the balance beam. And they all a stumble. A stumble by Sean. Off goes Joe. Can he do it? He won't play running. He can do it. Well, the left swing. He's through. A gallant finish by Sean. The former AFL player is home now. What a titanic battle for these two challengers. Well, I said you guys were evenly matched, and I wasn't wrong. Halfway through, there was neck and neck. I was in. I really seen him held him there on the ropes and I just had to go across those bars. I don't really know how or when I just went, I think. You got up the ladder together and then you got to the top. You've both got to unbuckle your own yeah, yeah. safety harness, don't you? I think that's critical. That too. Yeah, you get that good, you can you can make time or lose time. So. Crew, Thank you're you. into the quarters. Cheers. Well done, give it up for him. Sean, the wobbly legs. Definitely. Oh, mate, it was the balancing green. They just like, I saw you take off and then you came off. And I knew those legs, they just must have been really hurting. Yeah, I've been pretty quick last few weeks, but I make no excuse. And I reckon Joe did an awesome effort tonight. Well done, mate. Well done, fellas. You got a heart as big as a lion, Sean, and you did very, very well. But Rue, our mate Joseph, is off to the quarters. Yeah, it was a ripper and we've got two more challenges off to the quarterfinals. A warm congratulations to Jack.